mayonnaise was a big thing to replace. Uh, we loved humans' mayonnaise. It's all we ever had for many years of uh, raising children. However, I we came up with this wonderful recipe. We found one online, twisted a little bit, and we make almond mayonnaise, which is absolutely fantastic. We, we use it for everything. We use it for like potato salads and egg salads and raw dips and raw dressings. Our recipes in the recipe book call for this mayonnaise. I love it. You can use it for dipping. It's just fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a half a cup of al almonds that have been soaked overnight. And I'm going to add to that the water. I'm going to add a half a cup of water. I'm going to add a teaspoon of nutritional yeast. We use non-fortified nutritional yeast. A uh, half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of garlic. I'm going to go ahead and blend this and then we're going to make the mayonnaise part of it, which is really fun. So I went ahead and blended the water and the almonds and the spices, and now I'm gonna add the oil. We use tea seed oil in our house, which is this oil that comes from squeezing the tea seed. And tea seed, of course, is a seed that grows the black tea, earl tea, and gray tea, and green tea. What I'm gonna do is put this on low, and I'm gonna slowly add the oil while it's open. You want to hear something really cool? I know you're saying yes. Check this out. I love this blender. It is so quiet. I can talk over it. It's amazing. Okay, I've got nice and thick in here. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze some almonds and I'm going to put some apple cider vinegar in here. I'm just I'm going to squeeze some lemon and then some apple cider vinegar to give it that just a nice kick. If you don't add these ingredients, it really does make a big difference. So I'm going to add some fresh lemon, probably about a quarter cup of the apple cider vinegar. My favorite apple cider vinegar is Bragg's uh, and then Eden, both phenomenal apple cider vinegars. You want to make sure they're raw and then just blend. Then we've got beautiful, thick mayonnaise. Now you'll note I left all the skins on my almonds because I like the skins on my almonds. If you don't want to have those skins and you want to hide this so your kids will eat it, go ahead and peel all the almonds. They slip right off after you've soaked them that 24 hours and enjoy some wonderful mayonnaise for any of your dips, recipes, sauces, or just because it tastes phenomenal. Mwah. I love this stuff. <laughs> it's my favorite. Page 144, that's the raw mayonnaise. Mm -mm -mm.